So in this video, I'm going to talk about the halohydrin formation. And this is essentially adding on an X, where the X is a halogen, as well as an OH. So this is the same mechanism as a halogen addition. And if you don't know what that is, you could go back a previous video. And one key difference is that the nucleophile in this reaction is now water instead of the halogen. And so down here, you have the reaction. And so this is the overall mechanism of the reaction. And so essentially what you're going to have is you're going to have the OH and the CL added on. And they're always going to be trans. So it's always going to be a trans halohydrin. And now let's look at why this occurs. And let's look at the mechanism behind this reaction. So now let's look at what happens. So the first thing that is going to happen is this double bond right here is going to come in and take this bromine. And the other electrons are going to move back onto the bromine on the right. And so now you're going to have this little weird triangle thing with the bromine in it. So this bromine is going to be attached to both carbons there. And this carbon right here has a partial positive charge on it. And so what's going to happen is the water molecule is going to approach from the opposite side of the bromine. So bromine is on top. The water is going to approach from the bottom. And it's going to do an SN2 attack. And so the reason why the water comes in is because the water outcompetes the bromine. So this negative bromine anion. And so the water essentially blocks the bromine anion. So then as a result, you form this molecule here with a, par a positive charge on that oxygen. And so you can see here that the bromine and oxygen are on opposite sides. So they are trans to one another. And so what's going to happen next is this water molecule is going to come in and take that hydrogen and it's going to form a neutral OH. And so as a result, your final product is this right here where the bromine and the OH are trans. And so remember, the stereochemistry for this reaction is pretty important. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.